guys, Aaron here with Striker Studios, and today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on routing drums to different tracks in Contact. Um, just a little background information, I'm running Windows 8.1, and the version of Reaper I have is version 4.57, I believe. Um, just let's get started, I guess. Um, what you're going to want to do is set your project tempo, open up your project, do whatever you need to do to set up first, and you're going to insert... Uh, virtual instrument uh, for this demonstration I'm just going to use the 8 out um, this is just what Reaper does when it adds the auxiliaries you just hit yes okay so I already have my samples folder open I'm using the Django Studios what was me process kit so I'm just gonna load in the kick the snare both toms and I'm gonna load in about three symbols the low crash high crash and the main China okay so the next thing that you're gonna want to do is make the MIDI channel on each instrument Omni that way it reads from the same MIDI Okay, your next step would be to rename this output down here, Symbols. You'll see why in a bit. All right, but for the kick, snare, and toms, you're just gonna create a separate uh, master output channel and then just rename it. Sorry. can't spell today uh, kick create one for the snare and I'm just gonna do one output channel for the toms and change the output to toms Okay, that way, like, if you have a bunch of symbols loaded in, they'd already be set to the correct output. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to do is change what the outputs are routed to, which are over here. Um, for the kick, you're going to want to change it from the contact stereo 1 to the contact aux 1 and the aux 1 secondary. This is going to pop up in Reaper, just hit OK. For the snare, just aux 2, aux 2 secondary. And for toms, just aux 3, aux 3 secondary. So everything should be functioning, right? Yeah, so you could play around with that. I'm going to load in a MIDI, that way you can actually see it working for one of my band's songs. Um, let me get a part that has toms in it. So as you can see, that works fine. and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to do a tutorial on that because I know when I first started learning how to use contact, it took me a while to figure that out. So thank you for watching and hopefully this really helps.